Hi everyone, I'm Muhammad Afisham. So right now I need some help from my friends to solve programming C project. So here is the case. I've been hired to write a C program to assist in one of the professors in the faculty to grade the final exam of his 15 students and it consists of 20 multiple choice questions with four possible answers A, B, C, or D. The program will scan some information from the data file consisting of student's name, ID, student's answer along with the correct answer and prints out the result with the percentage and the student's grade to the screen also to the file output. My name is Bani Arunia Parung, and now I'll take over the stage. So I, as a mm, kind, heartful person, will help Hafiz to relieve his issues. But wait a minute, give me a second. I have to open my dev program. So as you can see that I have divided the C program into several user-defined functions such as read file to read the input data and there's print miss question to display the miss questions and the correct answer also there is compare answer to check the student's answer and last but not least there is print report to display the student's information percentage and grade output onto the output file also there are two strings that will help us to solve the case for further explanation in our program there are a few new coding that we haven't learned in the previous class. During writing this program, we try to find out other information to complete our program without any error from several resources such as internet and our friends. Okay, here for the read file function at line 18, it is making sure that the program doesn't scan the student file till the end. Between lines 22 and 32, There is a string we haven't used before, strcpy. This string is for copying string. From line 33 until line 41, the loop is used to reach each student's answer question and build an answer string for each student. If we take a look at line 40, there is also a new string called strcap. This string both answer string by combining the answer for each question. For compare and serve function, we use local variables such as integral mirror question, fault percentage, and also character grid. From line 66 until 90, the loop is used to print the list of the wrong answer and compare it with the correct answer. From line 91 until 112, the statement is used to find the grade of students from their correct answer percentage. And for the main function, as the program is executed, firstly, it will read the input file which is student answer and correct answer file. And then we have to enter the student ID to match the enter ID with the student ID that have been stored. We use another new string called strcmp. This string will result zero if both strings that are being compared are same. Guys, enough. Now, it's my time to show off. Hey, Sonia. What's the point if you are a programmer, uh, but okay. you just keep explaining without executing the program. program? Okay, without further ado, let us hit the button. Hmm, impressive. First thing first, it needs us to put the student's ID. Oh no! Not as what you think guys, this guy isn't me okay, it's another Dafa who failed on final exam. Anyway, it seems like your program is working well. Now we move on to the output file. Seems all look like half his request before. Alright guys, thanks. 
as what I've learned before in a smithing fullness, I have some gift for both of you. Please wrap it out.